Hi, I'm Jonathan Miller at Diamond Systems, and we're here at Embedded World, and today I'm showing you our newest N NVIDIA Jetson carrier board. This is called Osborne, and if you know Diamond's products, you know that all of our NVIDIA Jetson carriers are named after rock and roll stars or rock and roll characters. So here we have Osborne. So there's a couple people whose last name was Osborne, maybe you can think of them. Anyway, Osborne is our newest product, and this is focusing on the uh, AGX Orin, which is NVIDIA's highest performance carrier, uh, uh, mo GPU module. The Orin module mounts right here on this socket, in this area on the board. And then uh, we have, uh, oh, we have, uh, it's covered up on this side. Let me see if I can pull this off to show you. There we go. Okay, on the back side we have expandability. So we have uh, two mini cards. We have M.2 socket uh, here for uh, modem. And we have a camera adapter board here. In addition, we have here a PCIe by 8 slot connector. So if you have a high performance graphics card, you can, or camera adapt interface board, you can plug it in here. So it's got a lot of expandability, as well as a lot of I.O. on the board already. Now the interesting thing about, about Osborne is not just that it has the uh, AGX Orin support, uh, but also it has a concentrator connector over here. So all the I.O on Osborne comes out on a single I.O. connector. What this allows us to do is make us a, a group of, a, a, of interchangeable I.O. adapter boards. So just like you might plug an I.O. board on top of a board, here you plug an I.O. adapter board on the connector, so you bring out the I.O. in exactly the way you want it. So in this particular case, we have these commercial style connectors, RS-232, DB9, RJ45, USB, uh, HDMI, and so on, right? And uh, these connectors, this is for CAN right here, the RJ11 is for CAN. Uh, and then power. So this is the commercial style connector board that can be used to go inside of a, of a typical box PC kind of enclosure. But if you wanted to make use Osborne or use the AGX Orin in a rugged application, then we have a second connector board that looks like this right here with the military style connectors, right? And so here we have the exact same board to board connector, but now we have different connectors on it which are designed more for a rugged military application. So the same carrier board can fit in any different application. And of course the customer can design their own carrier board as well, I mean uh, I.O. board as well. So that if you want to do something different or a different kind of connector or even different military connectors, whatever, then we give you the design files and the specs and everything and you can make your own adapter board to adapt Osborne to your application. So it's kind Could of a Could you describe flexible. a little bit um, uh, what do you call this connector here? Oh, so this is basically just a module connector. That they, I don't have an example of the Orin module here, but the Orin module is like a big metal cube kind of thing, and it and it plugs directly onto here. So and it has all the input output this power is, and this everything. Is, right, everything for everything you need to, to drive the Orin is on this connector. Six hundred ninety nine pins connector. That's a lot of pins, right? That's a it's lot a of pins. Connector. That's a lot of pins. That's a lot of money. <laughs> uh, and then and that's everything. That's the whole interface. Then it mounts on these four. Uh, on these four uh, sp threaded spacers here, standoffs. And then you were talking about this right here. So this also is just a this is just a standard uh, a standard desktop slot uh, connect connector that you plug in a, a typical slot board in. It has PCIe by eight on it. The OS, the, the Orin module has uh, PCIe by eight available, so we bring it onto that connector. So cus some customers want to use those desktop style adapter boards for whatever reason, graphics or inter Ethernet or something like that. So we give them the ability to do it with this connector here. And there's 10 gig. 10 gig Ethernet is available on this board, yes. 10 gig, there's one 10 gig port available on the Orin. We bring it out here. So it's actually on this connector. Uh, I think the bottom one is the 10 gig Ethernet. Right. Using a 10 gig Phi right here. This little part. So this is a uh, high performance potential? Super high performance. The idea is high speed uh, uh, video in high performance GPU for uh, analysis and uh, inference, whatever you just want to do with the imaging coming in, and then 10 gig high speed Ethernet out, so you can get the data out really fast to the network. So it's a real high speed edge processor, and the whole, the whole uh, chain is high speed. You have many years working with NVIDIA. We've been working with them for, uh, I guess, four years now. This is our fourth embedded world with, you know, the first time was 2020, just before the pandemic, we had our first uh, NVIDIA products. So. It's about four years now. And you have a bunch more? Yeah, this is our latest one, but we actually, actually it's our, it's, we have one more development coming up, and we're showing it here in the show. And this, this, one, this one is called Jackson. Okay, so oh. Jackson is for the other Orin products. Orin is actually a family of, of the latest Jetson modules. So AGX Orin is the highest performance one we just looked at. This one is, called, is for the Orin Nano and Orin NX. 
those are the lower cost, lower price, uh, uh, they call it entry level sometimes, uh, and they're like a dim style, so they plug into the socket here, a very low cost socket. So the module will plug into here, and then uh, on top of it you have your cooling solution, and then the I.O. comes out here. So this is more for the lower, uh, lower end application. It's still very high performance because the Orin is something like five to 10 times the performance of the previous generation. So uh, you get incredible value, incredible performance at a very low price with the, with the new Orin Nano what's, NX. What's the main CPU? It's all, it's all NVIDIA GPU. It's oh, the, they oh. have, they, the NVIDIA GPU is actually oh. a... Um, with an arm also. Uh, yes, they have what they call it, uh, I can't think of the word right now, heterogeneous. Uh, design. So they have an ARM complex, which is either quad core or hex core or eight core in the, or HX or in uh, CPU complex to run basic Linux OS, basic applications, user interface, things like that. And then they have a secondary GPU, which is where all the fun is, which is for all the uh, you know, video and analytics and inference, AI, robotics, and so on. It's all being done inside the GPU complex on the module. So it's a kind of a dual processor. The kind of thing they can do is uh, they can bond a bunch of networks together, they can uh, encode H.265, uh, do all these advanced things people want to do. Yeah, the most the most common thing I think is really the video analytics. So take a picture and analyze who, what's in that frame, do you recognize the person, can you read the text, can you, can you detect the motion or the, of the person and what they're trying to do, things like that. We have one application, for example, where they use the Jetson to analyze the video frame to watch people going into a building. So they can tell if it's one person or two people, or if you're trying to pull equipment in that's unauthorized, this kind of thing. So they use the AI in real time to detect whether the action at the door is authorized. And so and that's an interesting application, like entrance control. So nice. very, very interesting. And there's uh, other boards around here you want to talk about? Um, so yes, yeah, so this is the previous generation. This is called Floyd. This is the same, very similar, but the previous generation of our carrier board. Here you can see, uh, the module is actually right here. This is the Jetson module on, installed on the board, and this is the cooling solution on top of it. It's a, it's a heat sink with a fan on it. So it's very similar. Uh, there's a larger board with a little bit more I.O. on it. Uh, this is called Floyd. Right. And this uses, a, lot, a lot of people have been using it? Floyd is pretty popular. Floyd's being used in electric vehicle charging and um, uh, pill uh, dispensing and all kinds of applications. Right. Right. So uh, that's it. And this right. is a box. Of, so these are these smaller systems are designed for this kind of enclosure. So that's why they have those connectors on them. So we put them inside a box. So you buy a complete solution. You can buy the box, make your own enclosure, or you can buy a complete box system from us, ready to go. So the modules in there, the Linux OS is installed. Everything's ready to go, just powered up. What's the minimum order quantities to work with you? Just one. One. Sure. If started. you want to customize, different story. But we sell a one to you know nine ninety nine all the time. All right. Cool. So, thanks a lot for the show. Okay. And, thank you. Uh, always busy in the embedded world. You know, every, no matter what I think of, someone else thought of it already. <laughs> a lot of innovation here. It's really uh, drinking from a fire hose to come here and see what's happening. It's so much fun. Very educational.